We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. photo of the Pacific Ocean. I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. Stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. I <coughs> told you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. things to discuss. Hey, leave your work for the moment. Come to the beach. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? We'll fix her too. As soon as we find the medicine, she'll start getting better. For real? You have my word, so don't you worry. All right, I won't. My mom says the Spartans always keep their word. That is true, Nastya. Indeed. <coughs> Don't worry, Artyom. Everything will be okay. Anna is strong. Olga! Alyosha here! I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. We did examine the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. 
Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even the pirates will have to obey if it passes. Just leave me a note so that I know which end of the world to follow you to once I'm back. With this, I have to bid you farewell. At least until tomorrow. Au revoir. I hope she heard that. Radio's in the church after all. But with Olga, even Satan himself wouldn't stop her. Much less a stupid taboo. range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk and the radiation wow. outside is almost Damn, as high as back in Moscow. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably... So what do we do now? Active. I'll tell you what we do. And I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go together. Oh, so not our place. Wife. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew, and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand, mine and Arthur's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Akadem Gorodok labs. Zahara's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, Winter is coming, and getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That reminds him of huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowball for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew! Get ready for the mission! Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left around the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've beaten, Sir, an update on the source. Yes, what's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. 
You see, they're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the drug radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, sir. Can you add more protection? Sure, your mic does have some lead sheets in store, but the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. Still, I can't help worry. It's such a huge risk. So many good people died from radiation exposure in Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they are going to face. Nah, these people don't really care about risks. You know them well enough. Hey, tell me about that museum. I... When did you learn about it? Ah, well, I was always a railroad fan. Even when working in the metro. We had this experimental facility near Moscow where they, they tested all kinds of railway stuff. Lots of engines and cars ended up there, so they decided to make a museum. But only found a good spot in Novosibirsk. Wow! It's not that close, I'd say. Yes, not at all close. But they still got everything there, including the most curious engines from all over the country. And some 15 years before the war, the museum was opened. I see. But why are you so sure there's a snowplow there? I know it, because they transported it there from Moscow. Ha! Oh, it's a great specimen. You'll like it for sure. <laughs> Ma, yeah, I'm quite sure about that. Well, I guess I'll go. Tucker might need some help there. Yes, he might. I still think we should look for that CETCOM center while we're at it. Where? How? There's a whole sector blotted out on the image. And look at its location. Sure, the Akadem Garadok is rather bad, but not too dangerous if we don't waste time there. That area, though. See? Sure, it's not the city center, but still, the only place we'd find there would be an early grave. We'll see about that. There's nothing to see. Do you think Colonel didn't send us there just because he forgot about it? Sure I don't. I understand. I'm not that dumb after all. Так, слушай, what are we even talking about then? The Colonel said the discussion was closed. They already decided everything with Artyom, and we must respect their decision and believe that it will all work out. Because we are what? Sparta. Exactly. So let us be good and go back to planning our route to that lab. All right. Look, I think we could avoid the main hotspot if we went this way. Maybe here.
Mind you, she was a real doctor, unlike me. Katya, believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Alyosha. I hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be... extremely unfortunate. That gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were naive, but even the valley in the end... Yes, air, water, and the forest. It's all there, but I'm afraid not for long. A pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We'd find some common ground. Is the dam in such danger? It is, but even if it could hold out for years more, a third of the valley is already polluted with radiation. All the fallout was accumulating at the bottom of the reservoir for years and years, and now it's seeping through. Yet if the dam fails... I hope she, they, listen to my advice. Do you love her? Yes. If it is fate, you'll meet her again, definitely. Well, I'll go check up on Anna. Sure. Tell her I said hi. Ah, Artyom. You know you're just being unfair. Colonel and you take the exciting mission, and we all get the boring one. If we all went together, we'd find what we need in half an hour tops, while with just two of you it's going to take forever. Ah, well, we'll finish our task in Akadem Garadok and come help you. Though, I bet you'd find a way to make it a boring chore. Like at that bridge, with the targets lined up like in a shooting gallery. But no, you had to spare those loons. <laughs> in any case. If you need any help out there, just call us over. story before, but I'd like you to listen. You see, I had this Tokarev pistol, a fail-proof thing that had failed me once. It was a great gun, powerful, punched through any body armor you could still move in, but it only had eight bullets, and that just proved not enough. I came upon some bandits that were tormenting a family, and I just couldn't. So, I snipped and got all of them. See if for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the other people arrived, I was half dead. Thought they were angels. Anyhow, here's why I'm telling you this now. There are more of us now than I had bullets then. So, I'm sure we can take whatever the world throws at us, and win!
Все, братуха, нахуй смока и сидит. I remember if I already told you about this. Think <coughs> about the kind of people I would meet. And that the further I'd go, the less people were good. So here's what my take on this is now, Ratucha. I just wasn't lucky. And now with you and the others here, I figure I just hit a jackpot with so many good people together. Take Duke for one. He keeps boasting about how he's going to shoot enemies up, all that. In fact, when you two were at that bridge, he didn't kill the cultist. Didn't even shoot that uh, Silantius. And that is a shot I'd take in a heartbeat. So, what does that make him? A kind guy. That's what, yeah. Or Damir, visiting his homeland was his dream, right? When he got there, he met a nice girl. We took the parent bastard down. What else do you need? Just marry the girl, find a good place to settle, and have a nice life there. No, Damir stayed in that desert to fight for freedom of his people. That's the caliber of a man he is. I love Shatu. I thought he was kind of ruderless, but he found the love of his life. Imagine that. And did he stay with her? No. He cares for you and Nana enough to leave the girl and come with us to Siberia. It's going to be a while before he sees his Olga again. So here's the main point. Bratuha, if you and the Colonel have people like this coming with you, this means our cause is right and we can take anything on. Don't it? <laughs> <laughs>
boys reached our camp from the other side of the forest. They're all gone. They need to stop responding. Anyhow, looks like they're all moving somewhere. Gather everyone. Call the guys from the lakes back. Talk to Wong's gang too. You must strike before they reach the next forest. Don't worry about us. We're done for here. We locked ourselves in a barn. All five of us. We'll shoot back while we still have ammo. Those fuckers are all over the place. Motherfucker, they shot Stutter! Ah, take this, you bitches! Yep, we're done for. Start to try picking out to see where they are and took an arrow right through the eye. Nailed them to the wall, like a bug. All right, it's time. Bye, guys. I shake your hands and all. Attention, citizens. This is a civil defense headquarters message. The following cities are declared off-limits until special notice due to extreme radioactive pollution. Arnov, Binsk, Kemerov, Novokuznetsk, Novosibirsk, Tomsk. Do not leave shelters without a specific order. Do not use water from open bodies of water. Do not walk on unpaved roads. The railroad can only be used by trains equipped with air filtration systems. Do not use any other railroad vehicles, regardless of the state of the tracks. Due to extreme radioactive pollution, all citizens leaving their shelters as ordered are to proceed to designated evacuation hubs immediately for urgent decontamination. I repeat, the following cities are declared off-limits until special notice due to extreme radioactive pollution. Barnau, Bielsk, Kemerov, Novokuznetsk, Novosibirsk, Tomsk. Come in, Pioneer! Over! Come in, Older! Do you read me? Over! Older, you missed 12 communication windows already. Situation here is nominal. Nothing to report. Over. Colonel Klebnikov, do you read me? Please come in. Dad! Please! Come in! Over! Older, this is Pine. I can't keep the receiver on for too long. We'll be back for the next agreed window. Over. Dad. Please, come back. Over. Pine. Over and out.
Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. climbing like crazy. I think there will be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artyom? Follow me! Good luck! You can rely on us! here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Christ, Sam, idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akaden Gorodok. Give me a visit to the railroad museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora there. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good luck. Good luck. Break a leg, my friend. You won't get carried away out there, because I know you. Good luck. Good luck, Archon. Just... Uh, good luck, brother. Come back. I think you have to brought you here for a reason. This so you will be at the rendezvous just point let it do its thing. So you can count on that, huh? Good luck. Are you going out on a mission to save an Anna? Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artyom and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy mission acknowledged. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom.
The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. best medicine. Anna is strong. She will win this fight. Just make sure you come back. Good luck, Hunter. You're here, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. With it or on it? You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Settle up!
Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. on how we get into that tunnel. Through the carriage. I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on, and keep your eyes clear. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here. No, we've already taken at least triple the norm out there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable. Mutant 
this again. Going to have a go at us. Let them try, I say. The straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Squeezing through here. There's the passage. Move, I'll cover you.
And here are the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of the persecution people in Moscow. Doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too. Outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war after all. Hmm. Oh, they've been defending with these armored trolleys. And when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here, until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. It is better, I wonder. Life built on a lie? Or death born out of truth? Oh, what? I feel... Uh, strange.
Joke around here. Oh, so much dust. Abandoned a long time ago. There should be a ventilation well here.
He didn't run through here. I'd notice. You check that side out. I'll have a look here. Soldier, identify yourself. Private Krill Klipnikov, Oscar, Private Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, so you can kill me now. All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? A bridge? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artem. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? <laughs> What's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Minutes from the exhibition, and I'm from Boris. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! Look at them run! 
just like old times. And we're done here. Private Plednikov, you can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. Oh, he's alive. It was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of brain stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, it's satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? I took the reporting from the SATCOM Center a long time ago. So your father is on a mission? And when is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map. We should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Damn! Static again! Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life! I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then Wait, we'll go get the car. We can't go outside with the anti rad We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. Like my railgun? Keep it. It might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. Don't forget to restore some filters, Artyom. Won't have time to do that later. So, what do we have here? Uh, I'm sure it was here somewhere. 
Tell me, Kirillo, how did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rat ran out. You can't survive without it. Fire stations rioted, the committee sent in soldiers, the war broke out. And then, some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Aha! Here it is! As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then you go through the station, then take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.
Wake up.
everything I love. It's, it's all right. right. I know, I know you, you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. I, I want, want you, you to be there, there when... <coughs> you are right here. here. So, so nice. to drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but he just got with this. He found the map! 
man said dad was a true hero and that he saved us all. On the way back, we got jumped by mutants, but then he shot them off. Bam! Right between the eyes.
Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <laughs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <laughs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? AB positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Arthur. No, you can't go to sleep now. We take a walk. <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, huh? With this... Ah, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? Yeah. Ah. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom, Lake Baikal ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. You were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. 
like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved! So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. 